I need some wine, I need some weed, and I need to freestyle. Like, I don't really like sitting down with a pen and paper like, I'm gonna write this song right now. It just, it won't work because I'm thinking about it. So when I'm making music, I can't be thinking. Like, I have to be in a very free type of organic environment and just freestyle stuff. I like it that way. And I'll be a chicken, you know it. Yeah. You know I'm always that for it. Just don't take my love for granted. So much good music is coming out of Atlanta because there's a certain sound that's going on right now, like a huh, what? <laughs> and like a da -da 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 -da, da -da 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 -da, like a very simple and trappy, you know, it's becoming like lullaby music, which is very, it's very, you know, ple pleasing to the ear. And I just think that so much other stuff is so complicated when it could just be simple and dope, with dope melodies and just dopeness. One thing someone would know only if they knew me, I love K-pop music. Like, I am obsessed. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I could talk about it for hours. I know more about their industry than my own industry, which is a shame. But yeah, that's something that everybody who knows me knows. I grew up listening to Four Non Blondes, um, Sade, Beyonce, Andre 3000. I like alternative music too, like Frey and Coldplay. When I'm not out and about and I'm in the house, I'm cleaning, that's what I'm listening to. I used to wait tables and I would always say my name was Sydney with a C. They'd be like, oh, Sydney with a C. And then just all my regular friends would come in and call me that and it just stuck. And whenever I would introduce myself, I would say it without even realizing. I'd be like, yeah, hi, I'm Sydney, Sydney with a C. They'd be like, oh, hi, Sydney with a C. And it just worked. <laughs> my favorite thing to sing about is turning up. And no, I don't really like singing about love that much, but if it comes, it comes, you know. But I really like singing about turning up. Atlanta shaped me as an artist. It's kind of like put layers of skin on me um, and strength on me. Because in Atlanta, being a female artist is really difficult. Um, I was in a singing group in Atlanta. Um, I did the X Factor with the singing group. We were called As One, and we were an RB singing group. And even coming out of the singing group in Atlanta as a girl, you're either singing to you know, sing oohs and alls on someone's track, look cute in a music video, or do something freaky for collateral, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's very hard to be taken seriously as a female artist. I mean, I guess you could say anywhere, but in Atlanta, it's so male dominated. Atlanta kind of helped me realize what I want, you know, and to demand respect when I need that respect as a woman, as an artist. And coming to LA, I had so much thick skin on me that I needed, you know, just being an artist and being a woman.